you know, I, I wouldn't presume to disparage an entire generation. But <laughs> if you come across a hipster with a handlebar mustache yeah. and the wax is just right, yeah. that's going to be a kick-ass drink. Yeah, you might as it well just a mixed drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no doubt, yeah. no doubt. Good afternoon, everyone. Nick Krause here at 40 Pints, drinking like the booze is free as usual. Today I got Scott Pelican with me cool. from Benefex Benefit Consulting. Um, so Scott, tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, it, so if you gotta put me in a box, we sell health insurance, right? But um, the actual approach to the process is a little bit more complex. Right. <laughs> Neither side of the aisle has, you know, in all candor, has any understanding of how either healthcare economics work or just economics work, right? And so they, there are favored players on each side. Um, I, I think broadly speaking, the Democratic, the Democratic administration would prefer a more global or, or, or nationalized or, or socialized approach okay. to medical care. Um, as, a, as an economist and as a cynic, I think that that is primarily about grabbing a sixth of the economy. Right. Um, the Republicans, on the other hand, seem to um, go to great lengths to talk about the degree to which they believe in freedom, unless it comes to health insurance, in which case they want you to be free to buy from their preferred service providers. Right. So it's um, that said, um, the regulatory environment in health insurance and health care is cumbersome uh, and, and frustrating. Yeah. So, so the, the purist in me thinks, you know what? If there was no such thing as health insurance, there'd be no such thing as health care inflation. Right. And, and without getting on, a, on an anti-government Because rant, it'd, be com it'd be so competitive well, because from people a provider would, standpoint, right? Yeah. I mean, when's the last time you got a call where somebody said, Nick, how much will it cost if I come to your office and take 10 minutes of your time? Right. And you said, oh, well, it depends on, it depends on your, what your copay, right? right? right. right that, I mean, it, it, the, the health insurance system is built on on a pair of lies, right? One of the lies is that insurance companies are your friend. They're not. One of the lies is that politicians are your friend or are looking to protect you from the insurance companies. They're not. So so I, I don't know that the world is better or worse now, um, but, but two things that my mom taught me about being on public assistance uh, were gratitude and shame. And we were really grateful to be able to live. We, we grew up in a, in a lower middle class neighborhood. It wasn't bad. It wasn't dangerous. It, it, we we were the poor people. We were the left side of that bell curve. Um, and and so I, I was really grateful for that opportunity. I had great friends. I had great school. I, you know, the teachers saw something in me. It was it was awesome. Yeah. Um, the shame part, though, and, and I think I don't want to get too philosophical. We lost. We've lost some of this as a society. I think. Um, when you're accepting a handout from somebody right. and either it's not enough or you're not even just a little bit embarrassed, something's wrong, right? And so, not to kill you with the food stamps part, but back then, food stamps were physical pieces of paper. We used to get booklets in the mail. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I and, mean, I didn't get, but I, yeah, I remember seeing them. And, and so, things like when my mom would send me to the store. I wouldn't go with my friends because I didn't want them to see me ripping out food stamps. They were right. different colored money. Right. As I understand it today, you know, that shit comes on a debit card. Right. And, and, it, and again, I, I'm not looking to embarrass anybody. But, but, but for me, the shame that was associated with having money that wasn't green was real. Yeah. You know, and I don't know. I, I assume my mom felt it. My mom and I have never had that conversation. It's interesting. But... Um, you know, having to rip out the coupons and, you know, it was, it wasn't, <laughs> and, and so I wanted to not be embarrassed. I wanted, yeah. it's a weird thing as a 10 or 11 year old. Yeah. I just wanted my money to be the same color as my friend's money. Right. Right. And, and now, you know, you look at it now, fast forward, I want my credit card to be platinum. <laughs> <laughs> you know?